interesting stuff that sold last night. I'm actually looking for it. I'm not sure where it is. Oh, all right. One is another item where it was like, it kept getting tons of likes, questions, views, and then finally someone bought it. It's, I think we got it back. When do you think we got it? What? The skeleton keychain. It was last year, but I went, was it in like October, November? I don't remember. I don't even remember where we got it. Nope, me either. I, I find that strange, or it's so weird that we've finally gotten to the point where it's like, I think we got it here, but now I'm like, I don't even know where we got it. And then the other thing was something that I got because I thought it was cool, which is the concept is just list things that you're interested in. And I found it at, it was in this really strange, not strange, but this really just, it, probably the most vacant looking St. Vincent de Paul uh, in one of the surrounding towns here. When you go in, it looked like they were going out of business. I don't know. There was just so much room in the place and usually they're just jam packed with stuff. And all by itself on this little shelf was a vintage stack not and like little kid stack of a Cartoon Network uh, thing of like cold cups, hot and cold cups, party cups, party cups with like Scooby-Doo and the wacky racers on it. And it has the old Cartoon Network logo. It's at least from the 2000s, like, like well, of course, the 2000s from like 2000, 2001, something like that, if I remember correctly. But I just thought it was cool. And this is one of those things where like you can't find them anymore. This isn't something that really circulated a lot. So someone finally bought that. So two weird little things that sold that I think are neat to have around. Yeah. All right. of different auctions this week and they had just come in there's a local auction house in town here and they set the stuff out for you after you pay for them and some of the ones that I won this week are some vintage oh I thought these were wooden I guess they're cardboard some vintage cardboard tray puzzles this one is of cats and it's always fun when the shapes actually are the shape of the animal I can't pop this out of here I suppose you have to just slam it down. And then there's one of bunnies. Plus it's like the illustration in the painting is kind of neat. What's on the back? Um, protective stuff? I don't know. Oh, so we got another one. I guess these are referred to as die cut puzzles in this box. So they have a whole box full of, oh wow. I got a great deal on this one. So the price is still on side for what they, so the auction is usually like, I, I, I've always wondered actually, like when they do auctions, do they do the auction first and then have the estate sale or the other way around? And this one has the estate sale price tag on it. And it looks like they were trying to get 32 bucks for this. Wow. I think I got it for six. So that's a good yeah, deal. These do look homemade. So this one has chickens, kind of the same deal. So it's in the tray. And then inside the tray, you can see that you have the different shapes. Look at that, I'm using the reflection to show you what I mean. Also, we got a turkey. <laughs> so, wise up turkey. Cow, actually this is all the farm animals. Moo cow, cluck chicken rooster, bog goat, honk geese, quack duck, I'm making this all up as I go along. I don't know what to say. And for some reason, they're all looking at why is the cat facing the other way? Like he's going, you guys are ridiculous. Because he's a cat. Maybe. So that's, there's that. I'm, I'm seeing these all for the first time. I have not looked at any of these. We just picked them up. So that's why I'm fascinated. And then this one's with some more quack ducks. You're a quack. You're a quack. I picked up a lot of action figures. And I think there was only one in particular I was looking for, but you get the whole thing when you do it. So I got a G.I. Joe action figure, I believe this is. 
I hope I'm not wrong because that would be embarrassing. Okay, I'm not going to guess on that one. This one I know, and it's kind of funny. Um, also, the way he's standing, it looks like he has to go to the bathroom. <laughs> That's the way I just pulled him out of the bag. But this is, the, this is, I think, The Rock from the Scorpion King movie, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure because it has the Scorpion King thing on there. To tell you the truth, this actually looks like a pretty wimpy version of The Rock. Like, I think he's bigger than this. Well, obviously he's bigger than this. Yeah. And then we have a Men in Black doll, but he has a mustache. I don't remember Will Smith having a mustache in the movie. Or maybe I just don't remember it. Or is this more like the comic? But he's also got... This is what's interesting about this one. He's turning half alien in the back, so his leg is supposed to be disintegrating, disintegrating, disintegrating. Um, and it's spray painted green, and the jacket's up. So this went with something. This was part of a, because it also has the hole on the bottom. Whoop, where's the camera? There we go. Hole on the bottom, meaning that it's supposed to stand somewhere. Ah, these are the two that I got it for which is this see-through Sue Storm doll and then Mr. Fantastic from the Fantastic Four. That's the main reason I got these, because these figures, it was a pair. I know that she's the see-through one, even though they're different sizes now that I look at it. But I saw those and was like, oh, cool, Fantastic Four. Another thing I got is this two-way walkie-talkie, Space Patrol walkie-talkie. So... Nobody else was bidding on this, and the reason I got it is because it's for Space Patrol. Space Patrol is an old-time radio show that I listen to. I don't know if anybody else knew that, so it just seems like a regular walkie-talkie. The other thing, too, is the fact that it's one. So it's, it's total novelty to have this walkie-talkie. Because you buy one, and then your friend gets one, so that way they you can talk together. But... With just one, not going to really be able to talk to someone, are we? No. But I got it strictly because it was Space Patrol. So it's, the, and, and I knew the whole thing looked really cool. It's got like the weird little Space Age electronic type deal that they would do back in the day. And it's got the big old antenna. That is a long antenna. <laughs> I don't remember the last time I played with a toy that had that long of an antenna. Woo! It, ooh, it even comes with the original battery. That's fun. Then I got a mystery box because it was two auctions that I won in. I don't remember what was in the first one. Schwing! All right, let's open this box and see what I got. This one got shipped to me here in town from their, I want to say their Milwaukee auction house. Oh, yeah. All right. Again, I love the fact that I have no idea what I bought. So... There, I have a collection of, well, not a collection of, I have, I actually have this glass and I saw it in an auction because it came with a bunch of other glasses. Wow, that's great so I could kind of complete the set. Uh, this one is Fred Flintstone. Ooh, I don't know if you can see that. It says, the Flintstones, Fred and his pal at work. Um, it says, Fred, oh, there's a little drawing of Barney Rubble. I have no idea if you can see any of this. I can barely see it. But it's all in blue. And a tiny little. I don't even think this is one of those jelly glasses. Ooh, this is actually a legit. Again, I don't know if you can see it. A legit branded Flintstones glass. It has a embossed image of pebbles on the bottom. I don't think I've ever seen these before. That's kind of amazing. And I got two of those. Wow. The second one is... Uh, the Flintstones, Fred's newest invention, and this is the one where, oh, Fred's just mowing his lawn with a dinosaur. That's not his invention, or his invention. Mary Joyce said it's 1962, and this one has an embossed image of Barney on the bottom. Oh my God, those are amazing. Yeah, those are pretty cool. Oh my God, I have three of them. This might actually be the better reason to get this lot. So here's one, the Flintstones, Fred and Barney play golf, and... It's true to its word. <laughs> They're playing golf. And on the bottom is an embossed image of Fred. Again, I don't know if you can see any of that. Now, back to finishing the Looney Tunes set of glasses. 
So there's Bugs Bunny. Next up, a thing called Mr. Rembrandt, the world's most unusual artist. Box set. What the hell does that mean? Complete with six palette discs, four brush pens, brush pens, really? And designer paper. Okay, so this is by Ideal. Now, the one thing I've noticed about anything I've gotten from Ideal, whether it be a Kerplunk game or the Kids Fondue set or any, they made the largest boxes for everything they made. Like, all their stuff was huge. Oh, the kid is freaking out on the cover of this. It looks like what this is. I, it's a robot that you assemble, and it has pens on the bottom. And you just put them on a big piece of paper and let them go wild. And that's, that's, that's oh, the artist. Fun. Ha. Huh. I mean, it is fun. And it's not. <laughs> it comes with the drawing paper. I wonder if there are any drawings on it. No, it's sealed. Is it? Yeah. Has this never been used? So it has the design palettes in it, which are the sprockets that go in here. They just have different ways of reacting about how it's going to turn. This is the little robot that spins around and does stuff. I'm going to have to, I don't know if I'm going to be able to open this. It's all still packed. Okay, now the last thing that I got is a game called Little Miss Practical Hostess Set. I got it because it looked neat and very bizarre. New modern colored tablecloth and napkins to embroider. So let's see what this is all about. It comes with little tablecloths with designs drawn on them that you can sew and you're supposed to sew these cloths here's one Ooh, what's, oh it looks like somebody tried to sew one they literally got this far before they said hell with it i'm not playing this game anymore this is work oh here's one that is boy and a girl. Oh, there's a thimble inside. Old thimble. Here's one that they were working on that was actually cardboard and they were embroidering in pink. God is love. They got as far as the G. I don't know much about embroidery. I just thought it was an interesting set and it's definitely got some kitsch value to it. So that is the Little Miss Practicals Hostess set. I don't understand what makes this a hostess set. I thought it was going to have like toy... Teacups. Yeah, stuff. teacups and stuff. Yeah. But that's what I got. All right. That's the haul that I got from the local auction house this week.